Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we are going to discuss vital Excel shortcuts. So these shortcuts can be used and found across almost all applications. So you won't only be learning Excel shortcuts today, but you'll be learning vital shortcuts that you can use across all applications or most of the applications. So this is a great video. So stay tuned for all of our shortcuts as these are great tips that you need up your sleeve. So our first shortcut that we are going to discuss today is how to open an existing workbook that you have saved somewhere on your desk desktop. So once you in once you are in Microsoft Excel and you realize that you want to open an existing workbook, you can simply press the keys control and O and Excel will redirect you to this screen over here where you can simply select your workbooks. You can use your other locations where you can find workbooks on your PC and then you can simply browse from here. But your most recent Excel worksheets will be lying in these sections where you can simply select them and continue your work on that workbook. So our next shortcut that we are going to discuss is how to open a new workbook in Microsoft Excel. So as you can see, I'm working on this spreadsheet here and I need a new Excel workbook so that I can fill in other sets of data on that workbook. And we've got a simple shortcut to do that. And it's simply to type your control key and your N key. Once you do that, you can see just open up a new Excel workbook. Our next shortcut that we are going to discuss today is how to print a worksheet that you are working on. So once you have your data here, it's as simple as pressing the control key and your P on your keyboard. Excel will redirect you to the screen where you can select your settings and your page settings for your printer and you can print your document from here. It's as easy as that. So the next shortcut that we are going to discuss is how to save your Excel workbook. And it is really simple and you are only going to press the control and your S key on your keyboard and Excel will ask you where you want to save this file. So this pop-up window will appear and you can select your location where you want to save your documents. And it's easy as that. So our fifth shortcut key that we are going to show you today is how to copy your data. So if you've been using the old method where you're selecting data and you're right clicking on this data and then heading over to the copy section up here, let me tell you there is a faster way to do this. So you're going to select your data that you want to copy and you're simply going to select your key control and your C key on your keyboard. And Excel will highlight your selection as you can see on the screen here. And then you can head over to wherever, wherever you want to paste this data. And you can paste either through right clicking your data over here or using another shortcut key. But copying data has never been easier. Our next shortcut key that we are going to show you guys today is how to cut your data. So as we've done with a copy section, you can either select your data and right click and head over to cut the top here, or you can use your shortcut, which is control and X. And once you, your section has been highlighted, you can then paste this wherever you want in your sheet and how cut works is if it effectively cuts your data from where your data was to where your new data has been selected. So the copy function works where you simply duplicate the data in your spreadsheet, but cutting your data removes it from the one section and pastes it in another. So finally, we have reached a point where I'm going to show you a shortcut key to paste your data. 
So let's say we have selected this data and we have pressed Control C to copy this data. And you want to paste this set of data over multiple places in your spreadsheet. Then you are going to use the shortcut keys Control and V. And this will paste your data in your spreadsheet. But as you can see, our data is still highlighted in this original selection. So from this, you can simply continue to press Control V all over your sheets to paste data. Once you press the Enter key, your data will be selected as the final position where it was and the highlighted section over here will no longer be valid. So once you then press Control V, your paste function won't work because you haven't, you don't have a selection that has been copied. So that is how you, when you press the Enter key, pressing the Control and V, you will can you can simply paste your data all over your spreadsheet. So the next couple of shortcut keys that we are going to discuss is how to change your font from your data in your workbook. So the first option that we are going to discuss is the bold font. So once you select your data, you can either head up to your home in your home tab, in your ribbon, you can select your bold. And as you can see, our shortcut key is the control and our B key on our keyboard. So you can either press this to get your data to be bold, or you can use the shortcut key control and B. And this will highlight your data in a bold font. Our next shortcut key that we are going to do is to get this text that we've done in a bold font here, we are going to get it in an italic font. So to do that, you are simply going to press your control key and your I key on your keyboard. And as you can see, we have now we our text that we've selected is now in an italic font. Our next shortcut that we are going to do is to underline our text. So normally you can add, you can select your text and you can head up in your font section in your home ribbon and you can underline your text from there. But there is a shortcut for this and it is to press your control key and the U button on your keyboard. And as you can see here from our text, all our text that we have selected is now underlined. The next shortcut that we are going to discuss is how to find text. So I know our spreadsheet that we've got here is a lot smaller than most of you are working on, but this next shortcut key is a brilliant way when you want to find data in a large Excel workbook or multiple sheets. So it works like this. You're going to press your control key and your F key on your keyboard and this pop-up screen will appear. So from this, you can, it normally looks something like this, where you can only type in find what. So let's type in our AA there and we can select find next. And it will highlight, as you can see on this side, it will highlight the text that you are looking for. But to get advanced options into this, we can select our options down below and here you can select where you want to find your data. You can find it within our sheet or our workbook. When you're working in multiple sheets, you can select where you want to search this. And I keep it at sheet because we only have one sheet here. You can then select by rows or by columns, look in your formulas, values, you can this is your advanced search option that you can use. And you can even match your, your text that you are looking for or your data, and you can then match the entire cell contents. So let's show you an example. If I press only an A and I select find all, 
our data will find our find function that we're using here will find both our data for a value a and for our value double a so if i match this entire cell contents up to the top here and i find all it will only find the exact text that i am typing in to my find what section at the top here so you can play around with your find function but this works brilliantly when working in large excel workbooks our next shortcut that we are going to discuss is how to undo your last command in excel so let's first say i'm typing in random data now and we've got this data that i've typed in and i realize that i've made a mistake so to undo my last command i can simply use the shortcut key Control and z on my keyboard and you'll see we undid our last command and you can continue to do this for as far back as excel will possibly will let you do this and this is a great shortcut that you can use when working in microsoft excel so our last shortcut key that we are going to discuss today is how to select all of your data within a sheet so let's jump right into this to explain exactly how the shortcut works so once you are in blank cells somewhere in your worksheet and i use the shortcut key control and a on my keyboard you can see i've selected every single cell within my worksheet and this is great if you want to do this uh, for another reason that we want that you can use this is somewhere when you select somewhere in let's say this is our small little table and we select somewhere within this range of data and i use the same shortcut key i use control and a you can see that excel has selected all of the cells adjacent to this and we've selected this data our small little set and you can see that there, when once there is a break or a blank cell or a blank row or column whatever it may be this data won't be selected along with this shortcut key so if i select this small two rows and i use the same shortcut key i've selected all of that data but because there are blank cells surrounding this data this is all that excel is going to select so that is how your select all function works and your shortcut works in microsoft excel and i hope you enjoyed all of these shortcuts today if you did please remember to like this video down below and subscribe to our channel and please let us know in the comment section which shortcut keys you found most valuable and that you can use in your day-to-day -day life thanks for watching guys and until next time cheers